Agenda. Let's get that agenda out of here. No. Nope. How do I do this? There we go. Just emailed, like just now. Oh, Starbucks. That's the name. Yeah, I'm stuck with that. That's about rain. Oh, we're recording. That's nice. I should check my audio. That'd be a good idea. Check my audio settings. Checking audio. Wow, sounds great. Okay. Uh, we're recording. I should probably stop the recording until people actually get it. That would be a good idea. Okay, we're recording again. Hey, here we are. Uh, wow, welcome to the NAM board meeting for June 2023. It is June 20th. Uh, we have started the recording. We're going to skip the relational check-in because we're starting late. We had some last minute cancellations of people who couldn't make it i'm sorry what no no ignore okay. me okay <laughs> we had some last minute cancellations um uh but we're doing it we still got quorum <laughs> we're gonna have the meeting uh <laughs> so okay now that we're all here let's confirm the next meeting date and time this is going to be our july meeting uh, everybody fire up your calendars. Um, Tuesdays in July are uh, the 4th, the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th. I assume we want the 4th or the 11th? 4th is the 4th of July. Yeah, that's the oh, you're right. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do the 4th of July. How does the 11th look for people? That's fine. Yep. Would work. Okay. Uh, yep. Cool. All right, the eleventh. Uh, okay, sounds good. Um, let's talk about our minutes from May. Uh, I don't know if you folks need to pull them up over there in the um in the the Nam studio. If you, if you have them open, you could share it too. Oh, that's true. I could. Yeah, let me do that. Hold on. Share screen. Which monitor do I have them on? Here's the real question. Uh, this one. I don't want to share sound. You're doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Can I do that? Is it going to let me do that? Nope, that's the magnifier option on Windows. I want I'm seeing the... Uh... Oh, yeah. It looks pretty good. For our sake, you don't have to okay. increase anything. Cool. Uh, all right. These are uh, the minutes from May. We had a director's report. It had some great stuff in it, including the launch of Crowdsource Cinema, uh, the agreement to become a sponsor of the Salvo House, ARPA project. Um, the, the new employee, how they're doing, which was great, which is always good to hear. Um, some stuff about working with East Hampton for their film fest, and um, a couple other things. Oh, so a meeting about cinema in Northampton. That's cool. Uh, after that, we talked about the quarterly financial report. It's on track. Things were looking good for that. Uh, we had the expense budget overrun procedure where we looked at some slides and uh, we got the high school report which was um high school students winning awards which was great and uh new leadership having been chosen uh let's see what else oh, what else what else what else uh spring workshop planning i talked about how it's going to be in july uh which we're gonna talk back uh circle back to this meeting in a little bit 
Um, we talked a little bit about a fundraiser event we want to try to do. Uh, with that, we're also going to be talking about this, this meeting a bit. And the board member recruitment, which uh, we will actually not be talking about this meeting because I don't think there are any updates on it, but it's underway. And yeah, and that was, that was good. That's what happened. A good hour-long meeting. Good. I great. move a motion to approve the minutes from last time. Second. Oh, great. All those in favor of approving the May NAM meeting minutes, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. aye. And Alex, do you need help with uh, notes or are you, are you taking notes? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were taking notes. Yep. Just, okay. I can, I can. I just, I didn't know if I was, okay. Let me just log in right now, but you can continue. I, I okay. usually use this as a template anyways. Okay. I'm going to stop screen sharing. Okie dokie. Uh, all right. Well, up next, oh, we have the director's report from al williams uh al you have permission to screen share as i had set that up earlier thank goodness <laughs> um, so go ahead and share your screen so we can all see that director's report and we'll talk about it well, how does that look looks good to me okay um so first thing is uh we won an emmy award yeah uh, which is pretty amazing um it was really exciting to go uh, to Boston, to Copley. Jeremy and I were both there. Um, and uh, Jeremy gave a 20-second speech, as was dictated by the Emmys. And um, it was really amazing and exciting and surprising and super cool. Um, so big props to Jeremy in particular, um, to Julia who did the editing, um, and to the whole crew um, of students and volunteers who who made that happen. Um, so that's the first, that's the first for Nam. Um, and maybe more to come. Uh, we're still looking for signups for crowdsource cinema. This is, I'm not sure if it's because this movie is a little bit more challenging for people or if um, there has been lower participation across the board in arts orgs in general or some combination of those two things, but we still have some openings for crowdsourced. So if anyone knows anyone who wants to do a scene, please uh, point them in our direction. And, um, you know, we still will get the film made either way. Um, uh, there's signups from from other from the other projects, meaning Crowdsource Vermont and Crowdsource Boston. So um, if we need to piece fill some holes, we will. Um, um, but I'm just just noting that um, we finalized our ARPA contract with the city. So the city had come back to us to to refine some of our reporting metrics on our ARPA grant. Um, in terms of the process of determining um, how successful the, the funding was, you know, moving forward in the next few years. And so uh, we've had a, back, a few back and forth with the city, um, but and we landed on some good language and signed the contract and the city did as well. So sometime in July, we should start purchasing towards the fulfillment of that, of that ARPA contract. And that's our, ARPA, our excuse me, our, our ARPA contract, not the contract that we are with, uh, with Salvo House. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce annual event is going on tonight. This is something we do every year in, in partnership with the Chamber. Uh, we produce their annual event uh, with them. Uh, it's usually a couple of months in planning. And uh, Dave and Isley are there tonight at Smith College as the event is going on currently as we are meeting. Um, so that's a, that's always a big thing every year. And um, we'll be happy to, to finish the production. It looks like it's going to be great. Uh, next week, we're all headed to Brooklyn, so NAM will be closed. We're going to Brooklyn to the Alliance for Community National Conference. Jeremy will be there as well, representing the board, and also there to pick up a number of awards that students won um, for hometown awards. We've we've won about 10 hometown awards this year, and so we'll uh, we'll pick those up there as well, and there'll be some uh, some workshops there. Isla, this will be Isley's first conference um, and first exposure to sort of ideas from across the country regarding community media. So we'll be in Brooklyn next week. Um, we're looking to possibly host a screening of a new film festival called Catalyst. This is a New England film festival uh, that features trans filmmakers. Um, it's the first year that they're doing it. And um, we're looking at a September screening in Northampton. There's gonna be screening locations across uh, various locations in New England. And we thought it would be a nice thing to bring to the city. So. Uh, we've been in touch with them and are trying to figure out uh, what's possible, what kind of date is possible, what kind of room is possible. And then finally, on July 10th, we're picking up 
a donation from ESPN of two dozen studio light fixtures. Um, these are really lovely high-end studio fixtures um, that they are renovating their studio completely and getting an entirely new lighting system. And um, they are being generous and donating uh, a dozen of one kind of light and a dozen of another kind of fixture to us. So we'll be picking those up in the next couple of weeks. And those are the highlights. How will those lights will be used? They're going to be their studio fixtures. So um, they're going to they're gonna hang in our space in 380. Um, and some of them maybe can convert into some field use. They're daylight fixtures. Mm. Um, but that's all right. We can shoot things uh, with daylight color temperature and it'll be fine. A lot of people uh, do that anyway. We've actually done it in the past ourselves. So um, it's just a little bit of a different look, a little bit of a cooler look, you know, you know. So, um, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the other, um, Sober Martin and all the, the rest of them, they're shooting yeah. the same crowdsource film. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they always shoot the same film as oh, that great. we do. And we always do a little bit of scene trading um, because there's all usually like one or two scenes that just in the end don't make it because someone says, you know, we'll say, are you really doing this scene? And they'll say, yeah, I'm really doing it. And then it's like, okay, well, it was due a week ago. Are you really doing it? Yeah, I'll have it to you tomorrow. And then, no. <laughs> so. One other question I Oh, what is the um the Chamber of Commerce event? What is, is that? It's like an annual membership event. Okay. So they, it's people from the business community. They go and they talk about what the chamber has done for the year. Mm. Um, so different community projects that they have going on. Um, there's usually food. Um, so it's almost like our annual meeting, but it's for the chamber. Okay. And they like to sort of make it a little fun so there's often video elements of it they trade us in sponsorships so we have a very like high level sponsorship package that we show um okay. as part of the event okay cool all right uh well why don't we move on to the next thing uh which is the high school report all right. So this one's pretty easy. The school year is ending tomorrow. Basically, the kids are out. Um, one new thing, we used to actually take a bunch of gear and bring it to Northampton Open Media in hopes that that students would uh, come and use it. Uh, we've had limited success with that in the past. But what I did this year was I just um, I created a log of uh, an equipment tracker for lending out uh, cameras for the entire summer to students. So they had the option to, especially my communications media production class, get a camera and a tripod audio set up um, and have that for, for the summer. Uh, so I think uh, as of right now, that is for our SL3s. I uh, want to make sure that the photo cameras were there and we had that standard base. So those are those are still um, in the in the room. But out of our twenty cameras that are, are are advanced cameras, I think we had fifteen to sixteen that were to, that were signed out. Um, and the, the kids are awesome with the gear. Like knock on wood, I've that I've I've never had a camera go missing, and I've it actually had happened once, and the student replaced it. Um, and they were really apologetic. So I'm really pumped about that. A lot of, a lot of stuff that they're shooting. If there's certain stories that they want to cover, we can kind of get the ball rolling for, for the next, for next year's segments and things like that. Um, they started doing, a uh, a investigative report on Eric Schur. They got really into the kind of the politics and economics of Eric Schur owning a bunch of businesses after the mass live articles, uh, came out. So they might be working on that as well as some other things uh, around town. Uh, aside from that, I also did an audit of our Adobe licenses. We currently have 500 licenses through a partnership with Northampton Open Media. It's a really great um, it's a really great partnership because on the north on the nonprofit side, it's the the licenses are an exorbitant amount of money, but on the educational side, they're like ridiculous it's like ridiculously low like five dollars per user or something something of that nature so we've had a partnership for the last several years with northampton open media to have uh to have 500 licenses and i go through and i purge uh every year 
uh, inactive licenses and um, and things that ha uh, haven't been used uh, from seniors and things and, and things of that nature. But um, we have 350 active licenses right now, which is is pretty pretty good actually. Um, and uh, Northampton Open Media uses those as well. Uh, the and the way that we do it, the our, the vendor that we go through and everything knows how we how we do it and everything's kind of kosher. So we're not doing anything shady. We're just you know taking advantage of the the partnership that we have. Um, and with that, there's some cool new AI software. Go ahead. I, I, I would assume that there is some regulations around commercial use. Is this like yes and no? I mean the commercial the commercial use for students. I I mean, no, do we? Yeah, that that no no one has his own licenses, or they're using a license out of this package. We we have a package that we essentially what it is is the school. There's a rate because we're part of the school. We're in the facility. We can get the 500 licenses at a at a school rate. Which is five dollars a year. <laughs> okay. Per license. Yeah. Per, license. Per, license. Okay, right. per license, exactly. Okay. And but, but the, the normal rate for the full package is like sixty-five dollars a month or something like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so right. It's okay. cheaper to pay for five hundred licenses than it is for yeah. five. But the question is that the, the student licenses might not have the commercial aspect. Oh, but the, oh the software is the same. No, the software is the same, but the licensing, there's a license behind what you oh. can use it for. Right, but we're not doing any commercial work, right? Is yeah. That uh, I mean, so, yeah. No. I think what you're talking about is is something, I mean, if we ever want to visit Florian, is this the idea that, uh, I mean, when, when people take out the gear at Northampton Open Media or even my students, right? Say all of a sudden a student goes out and they do a, a, a senior portrait shoot for their friend for 50 bucks, right? Or let's let's up the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I have we haven't gotten to the point where commercial com, the commercial where a student you know we we would sh we would we would have to shut it down. But like, well, so anything we do, even if we were to sell it, would be non-commercial. Yeah, because it just fundraises towards the nonprofit organization. That's considered non-commercial. Does it work like that? Yeah. Okay. The, I mean, I, I've actually hit, I've actually had examples of that, not on the software side, but on the equipment side, when I was in ca California, there was some, there was somebody that was, that was shooting these jazz events and they were taking out gear all the time. And I said, uh, do we have the ability, you know, if you have the ability to let us have the footage as well and air that stuff. And it got a little, it got a little contentious, but there's certain, so for instance, we, we've gone through kind of some of these hypotheticals before somebody comes in they get uh, nom equipment and in this case, nom software, and they edit a wedding, right? They get $10,000 for that wedding, right? But they check off the boxes of now nom has the, nom has the rights to that wedding, the, the footage, Right and the airing rights to that wedding footage, you know, the incentive is not there necessarily for us to do that, but okay. you know, we, we always maintain that right. You know, it doesn't come up that much though. So it's not, it's not, it's not a, it's yeah, especially, like, two things, it's especially like around. coming in and, and using it in a way which is not intended. That's right. one thing. And I, and I agree with you. There's no, like the hassle of following up on those things in most cases is not worse. Going into the the, uh, the the other question is if we do something, are we on the on the safe side that norm can use as an educational license and for things norm does and that's I, I don't know how to verify it. Like I know it's sometimes very borderline and interpretive. Yeah, as norm doesn't make lots of money with this, I assume again like what was our production budget uh, income last year, $10,000. So that's, yeah, that's also irrelevant. But um, yeah. the, other, the other part of this is that kind of like what I led with too, like we explained this to the vendor and they were like, oh yeah, <laughs> like they, they really, they didn't have a problem with, with 
the 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 partnership that we were discussing you know and we have we have northampton tv.org licenses we have northampton-k12.us licenses so it's not it's not specific to a certain domain and yeah. so it, it's 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 something that we've never it, it's it's never been something where on on either the commercial aspect of that or anything like that but okay. um yeah i so we're 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 good in that respect um, I want, I, you know, like there's students that will, that don't even take my classes necessarily there. You know, I had a student today, Laz, he came in, he was taking out a camera. I was like, by the way, when are you using for editing? He's like, oh, I don't know. I just, you know, edit and preview and everything. I was like, you want an Adobe license? And they're like, yeah, you know, like the yeah. more the merrier it's, it seems like for, especially on the student side. So, um, you know, yeah. it's just that it's like one of those hidden gem type things. It's kind of like not, but for, for what about, do the middle school use them at all. They do, uh, right? No, but uh, that is definitely like on the agenda for expansion because now they have their own student news program over there. Yeah, and exactly. I think that they're just kind of treading water at this point um, and doing things in like Google Slides and things like that. But I know that John Crescitelli will probably eventually want to to have yeah. that. Um, and yeah, so that's that's definitely something we can follow up on. Um, any other questions? Uh, only other thing I have on here is that in in you know um, in partnership with uh, the Young at Heart and Nam, there's a there's a premiere July nineteenth at the Amherst Cinema for the Young at Heart Chorus uh, show that won the Emmy. Uh, it's going to be a good time. There's an FAQ for with Young at Heart Chorus members, young and old, old and old, I guess. <laughs> um, and it should be a good time to kind of celebrate some of the uh, things that we've done together. July 19th. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, let's move on to our next topic, which is uh, talking about the workshop that's going to happen next month. Um, we had two potential weekends that seemed to work well for most people. Those weekends were the, like, the weekend of the 8th, july 8th and the weekend of july 22nd um i think i so i know they both work for al i think florian you said they both work for you yeah um jeremy you weren't sure uh about your schedule yet tim how do those two weekends sound for you is there one that's your preference i don't think i have a preference on those weekends july to 22nd and what was the other one uh the eighth 22nd is my preference. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine either way. I don't think I have a... Okay. Let's uh, let's go for the weekend of the 22nd. Uh, in that case, my next question is, do people have a preference between Saturday and Sunday? Definitely Saturday. Yeah, that's I what mean, I'm thinking too. I'm, 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 you know, that's my Zen day. Yeah, I just need that data recharge. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. So, and then we have the important question: Where do we get our food this time? <laughs> <laughs> where are we gonna get our food? Um, uh, I'll I'll make a doodle poll for which where to get the food from. <laughs> I'll list a bunch of places. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, because last year we did Mosaic Cafe, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. That was dope. That was dope. That was really good. Um, so, you know, we'll... Uh... It is an, a gigabit arrow. I've got about 15 minutes of power left on this computer at this point. Uh, okay, well, then we will we'll breeze through that. But the, the important thing is the 22nd, uh, the things I'm playing for that workshop are obviously we're going to do some more board gaming. That should be fun. I have some board games picked out. If anyone wants to bring any board games, please feel free to do so. Uh, just keep in mind that they need to be playable like within a shorter chunk of time, like an hour, uh, and they need to be able to support the number of people we're going to have there, which actually, considering the number of people, that should be fine uh, for most games. And, uh, but I'm sorry, what? The game from last time. 
Well, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna get the game from last time. We're gonna we're gonna continue it. I don't think we can finish it. There's a lot. There's a lot to do in that <laughs> game. But uh, yeah, so that and then my two things that I want to work on are gonna be um, finishing up all the content that's going to be in the board policy document. So you know we'll have an a, a not edited but otherwise complete version of that document after that workshop is the hope. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is work on planning the fundraiser event that I want to try to do later on. So yeah, that's my that's my plans for the workshop. Um, does that sound good to everybody? That sounds good. Yeah. What was the date one more time? I was going to put in the notes. July twenty second of July. Do we have a time or? Oh, uh, I would like to do the same thing as the last time, which was. Oh uh, gosh, what was last time? Last time was like in the afternoon. It was like an all afternoon thing, as I recall. So it was like you know one o'clock, something like that. Okay, got it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, all right. Before uh Al's computer dies, <laughs> um, my other thing I wanted to talk about briefly was uh the fundraiser uh that I want to try and put together. Uh, I just had some ideas for the structure for it based off of what we talked about last time when we were brainstorming it, uh, which is basically that I want to try to do it as a telethon style thing. Um, we're, you know, you know, going marathon style for a long period of time, maybe trying to break a televised world record as suggested by Jeremy. Um, and we set it up as a variety show type thing with different hosts um, and we're soliciting donations and specifically we're taking maybe not, well, I guess calls, but also things like emails and stuff. And we're discussing with people how to sign up for the Patreon. Um, obviously, we would not reject one time donations, but sort of the crux of it is to build out the Patreon uh, base of support. Um, so in terms of programming, uh, we had been discussing with um, Tim about doing some comedy stuff if possible um, but but yeah any other kinds of programming uh, let me know and the other big thing is if we want it to be live like in front of an audience for at least a portion of it or do we just want it all to be um, virtual uh, in terms of programming idea one thing I don't know if it's a good fit, but we have a lot of board members going out this year. If we have a kind of acknowledgement and, and thank you to all the people, and I, I don't know how this can look for the different people, but uh, that would be nice to include in a in a in a real event like this. Uh, and I think my tendency would be to have it live. It's like bring people together, like in front of a live audience, and then I don't know if it's twenty four hours. That's <laughs> The fun challenge, but that we bring the energy, that we bring people together. I think that's the. It's much more feelable than when it's just on the on it on the on the channels. Totally. Um, I don't know what the potential is of people mm -hmm. watching something like that for twenty four hours. I mean, I would <laughs> I would recommend having like a. This is this will require a lot of planning, so I would recommend like having a like a pre production committee or meeting yeah. with staff included. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, in terms of the next stage of planning, that's why I'm talking about having like a chunk of the workshop going towards planning this. Um, and yeah, and then I was thinking, okay, once we have a solid idea of the stuff we want to do and how we kind of want to structure it, then we're going to bring it to staff, have a meeting with them, you know, continue fleshing out from there. Um, but yeah, I would be totally down with doing... Um, like when we had the last big, like big annual meeting um, that we had in uh, at Holly Street. Um, that was like yeah. a big uh, to do. And we had a lot of Twitch streaming during that where we were yeah. having local filmmakers show up and, and showing their stuff. Uh, so definitely, I think that would be great to work in. Oh, Al's, Al's done. He's out of battery. <laughs> His laptop <laughs> has died, uh, which means we're done. <laughs> We had, we've lost, well, we've this is the problem. Lost. I don't know. I don't know how we adjourn. We have right. To, uh... we, we had quorum, but we lost it due to technical <laughs> difficulty. <laughs> Dang. Okay. I mean, that's all right. I think that I think that, that we can wrap up. And, oh, uh... Al's rejoining on maybe his phone. Okay. Cool. So... Oh, he's on his phone. Um, we gotta right. we gotta adjourn. I guess. 
Cool. I think we covered everything. We're good. Yeah. We're all here. Excellent. <laughs> so so we can so we can uh we can move to adjourn now. <laughs> okay. Well uh, we went through everything. Okay, then move to adjourn the the board meeting for today. Yeah, all right. Uh all all those in favor. Uh we're done. Uh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I know it was a little bit of a slapdash meeting, but we did get yeah, some important I stuff. I sent uh I sent out the uh the meeting minutes too. So you can take awesome. a look. Yeah, I saw that email. Very cool. Okay, well, uh cool. we'll see everybody on the eleventh and yeah. then on the twenty second for the Dude, workshop. I'll so. see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye.